Whoa, I don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you take my picture, I'll take your camera. Yeah, baby, I'm on YouTube, baby. What's up? Well, just like you can't film anybody without their consent on the street. Okay. The opportunity to get What's out your name and badge number? Out of the building. No. no. So you don't. Get, get, get away. That's guys in Mount Vernon, Washington, Mount Vernon. Just doing a First Amendment audit here on the post office once again. You got people exercising their their First Amendment here. Jehovah Witnesses, it looks like out, out front. Which is great. Thank God we live in this country. Freedom of religion, it's all part of the First Amendment. Good stuff, guys. They're doing their Jehovah Witness stuff. Hi, guys. You, I I'm assuming you're Jehovah Witness? Yeah, I guess I'm right. Awesome. How are you today? Good, you guys are exercising your First Amendment. That's great. Good to see. Thank you, what's your name? Lee. Lee, nice to meet Lee, you. How are you? Nice to meet you guys. Awesome. It's been a long time. There's the flag. There it is. Built in 1964. Awesome. I got the old, uh, old glory up there with the POW. The flags look brand new. Awesome stuff. Nice sunny day. Must be about 75 out. Beautiful little area. There's the water tower, you know, Mount Vernon. Huh. Here's the back lot of the post office. I don't get it. Maybe he's got some riff raft around. Huh. Look, they're hiring, guys. See if they can get a job here. They probably got me on the uh, on the list. These guys probably uh, know me by now. I've done so many uh, post office audits. No trespassing. It's not really well posted at all. They have one sign. Here we are guys. Do you want to think somebody forgot their lunch or maybe it's somebody that just left it here and went inside? Awesome. Let's go inside guys, see what happens. Box mail will be kind of the typical. Nice and cool in here, the typical type of post office. Older boxes though. Obviously the original from the 60s. And then a few new ones here. See that? Right there. So let's get our stamp. Where's the poster seven? I didn't see one yet. I'm looking. I don't see a poster seven. That's odd. So, anyhow, let's see over here. We'll find it. Check first. Shipping supply stuff. Look at all the good stuff they have. Walmart cards. Different things. Yeah. Awesome. Maybe it's over here. I don't know if it, why would they put it in the back? I don't think they have a poster seven. No, I don't see anything guys. Do you guys see anything? I see no poster seven, which is odd. 
your federal lawmakers, okay? And they got it hung way up in the top there. Yeah. I don't see one. Usually they have like a bulletin board and it'll be inside that in a locked case. I don't know. Where is it? Looking, looking, looking everywhere for it. Okay. Operational purposes. Well, this is my operation. My operation. Well, this is what they give you money, more money back, all right? Because that's probably your normal money doing, and you're all over here. Get it back there. So they're overcharging your refund. Yeah. Might as well get my stamp. Ready? Yeah. How are you today? I just want to get one stamp, please. Anything else? No, that's uh. Okay. I just had a question too when you're done the stamp deal thing. Are you videotaping? You're not allowed to videotape. I'm videotaping, yeah. You're not allowed to videotape. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought it was okay. No. Okay. You can, I can are you, the supervisor for you. Sure, why not? Tess, are you Tessie? Tessie? Yeah. yeah. Ma and Matthew, that's my nephew's name. Thank you so much. So she says I can't videotape. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You think so? Do you guys have a poster seven? I was looking around for it. Didn't see it anywhere. Do you know you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, he knows it. I heard you. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lobby. Where's your guys' poster seven? You know the Poster 7? Whereabouts is it? I don't know. It's called Poster 7. It's federal rules and regulations for the post office. Every post office I've been in has one. It's probably back here somewhere. Thank you so much. Sir, it's usually out in the front for um, for viewing of, of the people who come in here. Because it's to let them know. You've never heard of it? You look online, you'll find it right away. It's poster seven. Every if you go into any post office, like the next post office here just over, more than likely they're going to have a poster seven. Because this is the first one that I've been in, and I haven't seen a poster seven. And I've been in a lot of post offices, so I think you know what I'm doing, right? You know what I'm doing? Yeah, exactly. So. No, sorry. I'll, I'll look. I'll look and check our regulations. Make sure that we get it posted. Awesome. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And what was your name? Mike. Mike, nice to meet you, Mike. And you're the supervisor of the I'm post. Okay, who's the postmaster? Uh, Robert Irwin. Right, yeah. I know I can find it online, but it's just easier to ask you more cordially. Thank you so much. Thank you. What are you yelling? yelling? I'm having hey, a conversation. Hey, whoa, I don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you take my picture. I'll take your camera. No, I don't move think it. Well, no, don't touch me. Can you call the police? He just assaulted me. Uh, you're gonna Assault with a finger. Both yeah. of you outside. Outside. Both of you. Now. I was having a conversation with Hi, this gentleman. Please, I was. Exit. I'm not going to go outside. He's threatening me. I don't know if he's got oh, a gun or something. Order. So he's the one being aggressive. Can I still do that? I'm just. Exit the building, please. Over here, maybe. Thank you, sir. Be away from that. You can't go up to people like that and do that. What if I was a, a lady here? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you for being so cordial and about the poster seven. Yeah. You're, you're a very nice man. I was just asking you about the postmaster. That's all I That's wanted right. to know. No problem. Is there a specific time the postmaster's in? He should be in on Monday morning. Okay. He scared me because he came up and he, I don't know what he had in his hands. Like he gave me, look at my eyes. I if you, if you want to yeah. call, please, please do. Yeah. But I've got him to leave the building. Yeah. I appreciate that. I appreciate you doing that. Thank you so much. You thank, thank you. Take care. See it happen, guys? If that was a woman there coming up like that. This guy's nuts. I don't want to deal with this guy at all. He's crazy. You're crazy, man. Keep walking. You got mental issues.
them at the friendship house over here overnight, and they were completely unbothered when we came back. What's her name? Freya. I appreciate you guys exercising your First Amendment. Yeah, that's okay. You yeah. probably get a lot of flack sometimes. No, not, not too bad. Yeah. Okay. We appreciate it though. I appreciate the fact that you do that. This whole idea I'm out here is to um, exercise. Obviously, you know, you're, you, you guys are smart. You guys do well, your homework. I don't know how smart I am, but okay, I get There's it. There's a sign, guys. So that guy assaulted me. He's totally crazy, just over a camera. They, Joe Witness is probably get assaulted too every one, every now and then. Try not to. But you, you, sometimes you don't have any control over yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. You're, You're exercising something that somebody may not agree with, right? Which is totally within your legality and within the Constitution of the United States. If I'm a Muslim, it doesn't give me the right to come up and start pushing you around. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I agree with you. So you could just be something that you believe in, right? So thank God we have this First Amendment. What was your name, sir? George Burns. George Burns, I love that name. My name's Greg. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. I run an auditing channel. Oh, it's cool. it's called Freedom Audit, and I go to different post offices, different public areas, and do, and do filming, and exercising my First Amendment. Sometimes I exercise my Second Amendment, which is my right. And you know what I love about Jehovah Witnesses? This is one thing. I went to Dachau, in oh, Germany. You did? Yes, and they have their own star. You know, you yeah. know that. I know. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. That was a sad deal. Yeah. Nobody likes to get persecuted. Yeah. We already talked about that a little bit. You know. It's... Yeah. They stood their ground, and by standing their ground, they went to concentration camps by doing so, because they wouldn't high Hitler. So. And you know quite a bit. You're right in on this. Yeah. I seen their star, and I seen the stuff that they had to go through. See, I've never been there. I've been to the Holocaust Museum. Yeah. That was a good yeah, yeah. So they believed in their First Amendment so much that they exercised it and their their freedom of religion so much even when the government went against them. And that's the big problem is and that's the scary thing. A person like this going against me, he's just one person. But if the government does it, then it's uh, you're in big trouble. We're in big trouble. We're all I, I'm I, I don't agree with everything that Jehovah Witnesses do, but I do definitely admire you guys for being out here and practicing your freedom of religion. Thank you so much for doing what you do. Yeah, well, we appreciate you coming out here and checking out. I will take a, a watchtower if you don't mind. No, yeah, help yourself. Yeah. Just take what you want. Yeah. Thank you so much. See, that, and it opens dialogue. People are communicating about different things in their life. This is what it's all about, guys. To be out in the streets and... Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I agree with you. To be right on the, uh, the front line, basically. So, I appreciate you guys' work. Thank yeah, you so much. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate Take care. That's awesome, guys. So Freedom Audit, that guy just had an explosion. I was just about to leave, and uh, I don't understand. Come right up in my face. There's a woman or something like that, you know. I know I'm going to get comments in the, in the, hello. I'm going to get comments in the, oh, you're a woman, or some... Uh, calling me fraudator and you're a woman and all this stuff but I mean honestly you have to look there was women in there and I turned when I turned around their eyes were like wide you know saucers this that guy's nuts he's got issues you know but the supervisor wanted to kick us both out there's no way I was going to leave um, because somebody else's actions um, I was polite I was cordial I was uh, you know, just because you don't agree with something and that, you know, I might not agree with everything the Watchtower says or, you know, I might agree, I agree with some of it, but I don't agree with it all. And I, this channel is not about getting too far into religion, but um, the fact is that that's part of our First Amendment, guys, and um, it creates dialogue, you know, people, but I, I bet you, you know, here they're having a cordial con conversation with people, but I bet you, and, and Sometimes they probably get people coming up, threatening them, wanting to fight them and all that stuff, you know, just because they're exercising their First Amendment. And I don't know who in their right mind would want to take something like that away. Because that's what the foundation of this country is. If you take that away, you take it at all. We lose it all if we lose our First Amendment, you know. Trinity, you know, you may believe more in this. It's Christian, but... You know that you you have different religions and dif different ways of interpretation and so forth. 
of the Bible, and that's what makes this this country a wonderful place to be. You know, freedom audit guys. I appreciate you guys' time, and uh, stay tuned because uh, I took a seven-day hiatus or an eight-day hiatus there, but I'm back, and I'm back in full force with you guys. I need your help. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe if you wish, and have a good one.